Hey babe, what you doing? Making breakfast. Breakfast? You're making me breakfast? Yeah. Aw, what are you making? So, like cinnamon raisin toast is like my favorite thing. And then regular toast in case you want regular. Mm. I have like organic raspberry jam, peanut butter, and organic fig jam. I figs. Mm. We got my friends Mammy Fruit. Um, they ship fruit around the country to people from Florida, like tropical fruit, and we got tropical pink guava. I love that's gonna focus on camera. Yeah, a little bit. And then we got um, really unique variety of dragon fruit, which is yellow variety like this. Mm. And then the inside looks like that. Yummy. And then uh, we got something else in the fridge that you can show everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come join me. You look so cute. What are you all dressed up for? The Renaissance Festival. Have you been there before? No, I haven't, so I'm really excited. Let's go, first I wish, time. I wish I could wear like more of a costume, but... I wish I had stuff to wear. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. You're doing me... You're, uh, you're, you're digging the black shirt and jeans. You're putting me to shame, though. Look at your crown. It looks so good. You just made that just now. I did, thank you. You're so crafty, damn. You look beautiful. Thank you. What are you going to eat here? I don't know. What is this weird looking thing? <laughs> Show me. Ready? Let's see, hold on. Ready? Yep. Ooh, is it brains? What's in there? <laughs> this is the cacao bean. That's an actual cacao fruit? Yeah, this is what chocolate comes from. So Why is it white and not black, like chocolate? Because it has this like white embryum thing around it mm -hmm. that protects it. When you put it in your mouth, clean it off. You can't really clean it off. <laughs> How does it taste with the uh, the white fruity part around the bean? Um, slimy. But like, is the taste good? Yeah, it's not bad. It's like sweet, right? It's like something you have to get used to and then it has the chocolate. The yeah, hold it there a second. It's trying to focus up. Ooh, that's cool. So it shows two things. It shows the cacao bean on the inside and it shows your cool teacup tattoo on your finger. These are pretty good. They're really sweet so I can't have too much of it, but if you have a sweet tooth, it's the best thing you can eat. It's so good. Where'd you get that from? And we got a bunch of fruit from Miami Fruit. We'll Dot have work. all their links and stuff down below, but they send a bunch of different varieties of tropical fruit to you. And it's so awesome because I never thought that I would ever try one of these. I didn't even really, I knew what it was, but I like didn't really know, you know? Or like some of this other fruit. Look at this avocado. It's like the size of my cool. hand. It's huge. So thank you to Miami Fruit for sending this because this is one of my favorites. It's really good. Well, let's go to a secret place and have some fun. excited for the turkey leg okay so let me talk about turkey legs really quick <laughs> first of all horrible to animals second of all the renaissance festival goes for like what two and a half months and then it's not on for a year so my friends would come back the next year and they would find turkey legs from the previous year behind some of the um, some of the stages mm -hmm. that look the exact same Nothing had biodegraded on them. They were the Ew. exact same look. So you're putting that stuff in your body. No, Yummy. no, no. <sighs> Pretty much I love the Renaissance Festival minus two things, the turkey legs and the um, animal abuse. But we'll show you guys. We'll go inside. 
Well, we'll have a good time. Yay! We'll point out the animal abuse, but we'll keep it positive. Tell me what, what you just said. Um, this is really exciting. <laughs> How have I not done this yet? You've only been in Arizona for like two, three years. Four years. Four years? Yeah. Like you said, three years. <laughs> four years. Oh. August will be four years. Let's go do it. Food time first. Yes. Okay, so we're about to go see some shows and some shops. What food did you find here? Vegan food. Hummus. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yes. And some domates. Ooh. Domates. And I always say it wrong. <laughs> and a beer. <laughs> nice. Cool. And I got a falafel sandwich coming too. Okay, so what are we doing now? We're gonna see somebody perform. Yeah, a comedian show, I think. It's called Dead Bob. He knows more about it than I do. He's my friend. He's really funny. He's the top show at this whole event, and I always come to see him because he's, he's awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. It's like an old school, like old school comedy show where he gets the audience well, involved. Well, yeah, Here we're at the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got another weekend left after this one. Now we're out in Gold Canyon. Yeah, they call it Gold Canyon, but if you come out here, you'll see it's Apache Junction out here. <laughs> Did you find your clothes from the party last night? All right, good. Okay, all right. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> One day during a very musical game of Kick the Dirt, Ned was struck by a revelation. <laughs> or a blimp. <laughs> a revelation so profound it would end hunger, stop poverty, and wipe out war forever. <laughs> But then he forgot, because he was dumb. <laughs> but deadly, he wasn't always so dumb. At one point, way back when, he was quite witty and charming. At one point, way back when, he was being witty and charming to sweet Mary Oat Blossom, who you guys remember better as zombie number one. <laughs> oh, sweet Mary Oat Blossom. She was shy, beautiful and virginal. <laughs> yeah. So that would take some acting. <laughs> just, just do what you're, you be you, do your do. do, do, do. Ned sensually wet his pants. Thank you, Ned, very sensual. <laughs> You love the Tea Time Tuesday segment on our channel. Of course. So where did you get in there? Um, we got a Michelangelo inspired tea. So it has lemon balm, lemongrass, orange peel, ginger, and hibiscus, and love. And if folks turn in next Tuesday, they'll see us drink it? Yes, it's in this bag. Awesome.
Sad. You should be happy to see elephants. Why is everybody else so happy to see elephants and you're sad? Because they ride them for their amusement. They're like slaves. They're slaves. And I don't think people understand because they're so blind to that. To so them being a real living being. They're living. You, they can no see this, you can see the sadness in their eyes and the misery and the pain and the suffering. And what is it to us? Money and oh, a picture. Then the worst part is that all the kids learn that this is okay, and they grow up to do it to their kids, and it just is like a self perpetuating cycle. Yes. Like, this is not okay, so parents should teach kids that go see elephants in the wild, not in the desert mm -hmm. of Arizona at the Renaissance Fair. It's pretty sad. In my opinion. It's really sad. Let's, let's go free. Okay. <laughs> no, it really pisses me off. It's really like it's yeah. gonna bring tears to my eyes because you can see there's a huge long line right now waiting to ride yeah. the elephants. Huge but people don't understand that these animals are working, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours and against just, their will. And what for humans to get money and to make a buck? And a lot, not a lot of these humans right now are skinny or light. I mean. There's a lot of them piling onto these elephants, and it's just, it's, or camels, and it's just, it's really, it's really fucking awful, to be honest with you. It's pretty fucking shitty. Anybody out there that thinks it's okay to, like, ride around these majestic animals all day like slaves, I would love to jump on your back and make you carry me around with no hope of ever stopping while I hold one of my martial art weapons. We'll call it a bullwhip and I can just dig it into your side whenever I want. It was really sad, a little girl was standing over here and she looked at her dad and was like, Dad, one of the elephants is bleeding. Oh really? And the dad just totally ignored her and was like, come on, let's go. Mm. <sighs> just sad. Mm. Nobody's awake to see this. No, they a lot just... of people are. We've heard a lot of people grumbling in the crowd. This is really sad. Yeah. We haven't been the only ones thinking that way. A lot of people come here, they're like, this is sad and disgusting, and they walk away. It's awful, you guys. And it's not necessary to run a successful event. Like, the organizers of the Renaissance Festival don't need this. No. They have so much other cool shit here going on. They don't need yeah. these elephants or camels. Like, honestly, the Renaissance Festival is so much fun. And without, like, you don't need the animals. It's just, it's unnecessary. Yeah. It's unnecessary. Yeah. Hey, so what did you find? Oh my god. Those are my pecans. Pecans? Oops. You still want them?
Okay, so that's the Arizona Renaissance Festival. What did you think? I thought it was really good. Two thumbs up. Well, actually, one and a half thumbs up. The half comes from what? The elephants and the and the camel. It was really sad. Kind of brought a little bit of tears to my eyes. Just yeah. The abuse that they do with the animals just kind of sad. Well. Let's uh, everybody out there reach out to the Renaissance <laughs> Festival organizers and tell them to do away with the animals. Yeah, like you really don't need the animals. You really don't because it seems like the kids have so much fun yeah. without the animals. And Absolutely. you really don't need the animals. It's just teaching the little kids that it's okay yeah. to do that. And it's not. It's not okay. Well, I'm glad we're making a video about it so we can help uh, get some awareness to it. Yeah. Thanks for being my date. Aw, thanks for bringing me.